Wilson, he made the first man miss, and now he's got some help. Wilson inside the 10 to the 5, diving for the end zone. Touchdown, what an effort. Travis Wilson, redshirt freshman, Howell, Michigan, 26-yard run. Well, we mentioned the fact earlier, these fullbacks are used more for blockers for T.J. Duckett, but Travis Wilson, a redshirt freshman, Dewan Moss, a sophomore, both of them capable in their own right. What a nice individual play by Wilson to get himself into the end zone. Set it up, but you just have to rely on your player to make something happen. Set up well, Van Dyke lets the rush come in. Let's see, one missed tackle. Nice block right there. And then you just see a couple of missed tackles that had a chance to keep him out of the end zone. He's determined and pays off. You know, Tom Bradley, the uh, defense coordinator, Penn State, mentioned Travis Wilson to us by name, and but he was talking about him as a blocker, not as a receiver and runner. And he mentioned that Wilson really delivers a blow on the, the blocks out of the backfield, but here he delivers a blow in another way. A swing pass, a nice move to the end zone, breaking three tackles on his way, and into the end zone he goes. Van Dyke, meanwhile, took a hit from behind by different guys. If he gets much thicker and quicker, it's going to be scary. They fake it to him. Smoker throws to his fullback for the touchdown, Travis Wilson. Ten-yard touchdown pass, Smoker to Travis Wilson, the redshirt freshman. Can play, Bob. What? The fullback comes in motion across the formation, gets outside the pocket, a nice little throw. Don't do too much with it. Just get him the football. Nice play call, Morris Watts, the offensive coordinator. Short Travis Wilson for his first career touchdown reception, and all of a sudden, the Spartan lead was 13. Uh, I got out there, and I was hoping they called my number, you know, and we, we've been running through it all week in practice, so I uh, got out there, and I was running to the flat, and I was hoping Smoke was going to pass it to me, you know, and I got in there. I got popped pretty good once I got in the end zone, but I held on. He wanted people to know that. Duckett is back in the football game now on fourth and inches. And Smoke a rolling left, rolling right, and it's complete to Travis Wilson. The first down and 20 after that, there is a flag on the play. Danny right here in motion. Cuts underneath, and he's going to be wide open because everybody is anticipating the run. That'll be pretty exciting for number 47, Wilson. Because they have to, they have to spread people out. Now they have the same set. Triple I, three fullbacks in the game, including Mike Labinjo. I think, Bobby, uh, you know what I think is? I think that he's bleeding. I think that's the reason they're doing that, is that he's bleeding, so he has to come out. First and goal from the six. Labinjo, the native of Toronto, Ontario. Smoker's going to hang on to it, throw for the corner of the end zone. Great catch, but I don't think he's in. He isn't. He's not in a tremendous catch by Travis Wilson. Bobby Jackson, how about that tackle keeping him out of the end zone? That's what I was just going to say. I think that's a great play by Jackson. Great call, too. Go with the play action. The throw, this is a, this is a terrific catch because there's actually a little bit of interference, but Jackson a tackle. still able to drop him before he can get, before Wilson can get in the end zone for six. Jackson has the like, touchdown today. Again, triple I, second and goal from the lawn. Put it on the ground. The lawn Moss, touchdown. Moss, second touchdown of the afternoon, and Michigan State goes up by three. Great blocking by the center, Brian Otney. But you know that play action play, Steve, is really huge to get them down there. Third and short, Michigan State. Duckett going wide. First down and more. Duckett off to the races. Touchdown, Michigan State. 31 yard gallop. We talked about. Iowa coming to the inside, taking away the success that Duckett has had inside. This time, an outside run. You give Duckett the crease. You take a look at Travis Wilson, 47. A nice block right there. Duckett sees it. And right here, he's just got that acceleration that you're just not supposed to have at his size. Outrunning a couple of defensive backs right there. And when you're running back 260 pounds, he's not supposed to outrun 
defensive backs like that. David Schaefer puts the extra point on the board. And Michigan State with 122 to go in the third. A three play 39 yard drive 31 of those yards coming on the touchdown run by T.J. Duckett and I'll tell you something Travis Wilson that wasn't the first block he's made here today Randy he has been destroying people. Well there have been some holes for Michigan State Matt Bonito the right tackle watch him come out in conjunction with Travis Wilson and throw these blocks that give Duckett some room. Nice job by Bonita just pushing his man completely out of the picture. That's LeVar Wood, generally a pretty good run playing linebacker. And Bonito, the second time, he allows you to do so many things defensively. He's back, beat me through the air. Duckett gets a good block on the run. He allows you to do so many things defensively. He's back, junior, but he doesn't have the experience, and he's a little rusty early here, and I'm going to make you beat me through the air. Duckett gets a good block from his fullback, but how about that tackle? Hey, one tackle. Michigan State, third down conversion, still not very good. One for seven. This one, though, they pick it up. Roger Meyer makes the stop. T.J. Duckett on a gain of four to the first down across the 15-yard line. Wayne, we were talking there during the break, and you brought up a very good point. If I am Norm Parker, I was defensive coordinator, I'm going to put eight, nine guys in that box. I'm going to take T.J. Duckett out of this game, and I'm going to make them throw the ball to Herb Haygood and Avail Richardson. Ryan Van Dyke, he brings more maturity to the quarterback position as a junior, but he doesn't have the experience, and he's a little rusty early here, and I'm going to make you beat me through the air. Duckett gets a good block from his fullback, but how about that tackle? And let's go back to the sidelines. Chris Miller spoke with Bobby Williams. Yeah, guys, Coach Williams is not impressed with his team in the red zone. He says they've got to get the ball into T.J. Duckett's hands more. And as for the final play before they had to kick the field goal, he said it was just a miscommunication between his quarterback and his offensive coordinator back upstairs. Thank you, Chris. Big hole, Duckett. Boy, if you've got much of a hole, he's going to steamroll through it, and he's got a first down. Across the 45, 14-yard gain, Aaron Campman, a former linebacker who's now a defensive end for the Hawkeyes, made the stop. Wayne, I want to go back to the point you made, how important the opening drive of the second half is. I think it's even more so for Iowa right now. Michigan State, they want to grind the ball. They want to run Duckett. He's had some success. They have the lead. If they can go into the wind and control the ball and put points on the board, it's going to make it that much harder for Iowa to get back in the game. Motion from the fullback, Duckett, cut down. Nice play made by Jerry Montgomery, who got just enough of the Wayne Larrabee, Randy Wright, Chris Miller, and T.J. Duckett off to the races. Yanked down by Benny Saps to the outside. Works as well as any pass play Michigan State has run today. And with that speed, come up with a way to shut him down. Well, Norm spent a lot of time at Michigan State on George Perlis's step back in the 80s. They ought to know a thing or two about good running backs. Duckett doesn't need much of a hole. He can make his own if he has to. Turnover. First and goal now, back near the six-yard line. Duckett bouncing to the outside. Heron got a hand on him, and the Hawkeye defense swarms him at the four. I need to throw to him on the outside and then to block for the running game. Second down and 22 now, way back at their own 15 yard line. Here's a little quick opening draw for Duckett in the open field. And the fellas out of the 30 to the 34 yard line. Got about 90. Just to get their offense in gear though. Wilson, the fullback, is in motion as Duckett gets the call. DJ trying to take the pile himself. Got a couple. And Denman's there together, and you got big number eight. And they fake it to him. Smoker running out of time again. And finally got around the corner. Smoker down the sideline. It's special playing against this ball club. What did you try and communicate to him about this game? Well, this game is a lot of tradition. I like Mark Grinnell, too. Second and ten. Smoker play action. And that's what you're getting. This kick is returnable. Jones camps under it at the four. Remember, he took one coast to coast against Nebraska. Flag down. There's going to be an illegal block that'll bring this thing back closer to the 15-yard line. 25-yard return. Did very well in those first two quarters. So Schaefer to kick. He's the difference so far with a 50-yard field goal. This is Julius Jones again from the five. Oh, man. A train wreck at about the 18 from the five. Oh, 
man. A train wreck at about the end. Well, uh, they'll line him up on third down and inches again. Everybody in tight. At the 48 of Notre Dame. Straight ahead, Smoker, and he's got it. Didn't need much, but he got enough, and I think they'll move the chains. They will. If he gets much thicker and quicker, it's going to be scary. They fake it to him. Smoker throws to his fullback for the touchdown, Travis Wilson. Ten-yard touchdown pass, Smoker to Travis Wilson, the red shirt freshman. Motion across the formation. Gets outside the pocket, a nice little throw. Don't do too much with it, just get him the football. Nice play call, Morris Watts, the offensive coordinator. 